Now I'd like to show you a third capability which we've never shown before outside of our research labs. And this will give you a hint and a sense for where Watson is going in the future. The real question is, can a computer not just answer complex questions with ant simple answers, and not just take massive amounts of genomic data and come up with better treatments for cancer, but can a computer take raw information and digest and reason on that information and understand the context. So one of the prototype systems that we're building is something we call the debater. We give it freewheeling understanding of large bodies of information like Wikipedia, and we ask the computer with no human intervention, construct arguments pro and con on any subject we throw at it. And the result of that is what I'd like to show in the demonstration now. If we could roll the video, please. Hello, and welcome to the IBM Debating Technologies demonstration. Today we shall focus on detecting relevant claims. To proceed, please select a topic, and I will share with you my top predictions for pro claims and con claims. So as I said, we could throw any subject at it. I've chosen some here, and let's just pick the first one. So it will now look for all, in, all the literature and try to understand as a computer what's a pro and what's a con for violent video grant games. Let's roll the first one. Scanned approximately 4 million Wikipedia articles. Returning 10 most relevant articles. Scanned all 3,000 sentences in top 10 articles. Detected sentences which contain candidate claims. Identified borders of candidate claims. Assessed pro and con polarity of candidate claims. Constructed demo speech with top claim predictions. Ready to deliver. You have selected the topic. The sale of violent video games to minors should be banned. I would like to raise the following points in support of the topic. Exposure to violent video games results in increased physiological arousal, aggression-related thoughts and feelings as well as decreased prosocial behavior. In addition, these violent games or lyrics actually cause adolescents to commit acts of real-life aggression. Finally, violent video games can increase children's aggression. On the other hand, I would like to note the following claims that oppose the topic. Violence in video games is not causally linked with aggressive tendencies. In addition, most children who play violent games do not have problems. Finally, video game play is part of an adolescent boy's normal social setting. Would you like to discuss another topic? <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you can see, <clears throat> uh, if, if we can go to the final chart, um, <clears throat> Again, completely unaided by humans, the system went through all of this knowledge and constructed and reasoned, quote unquote, on its own. Now think about what this means. It's no longer a game, man versus machine. It's man and machine reasoning together. Think about a group of oncologists coming together and creating protocols at Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York City and having Watson debater at the table with all of the known medical information being brought in real time, in natural language, in dialogue, into that debate, into that argument, into that decision process. I believe this is the future of computing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I'm just sitting here watching that, I'm thinking of here you have a computer that is taking all the information on a topic that might be controversial, looking at the pros and the cons, not weighting either one against the other and coming to some conclusion. This would be great if we could send this Watson to Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs>